All right, thanks so much, I think. Tolls, taxes, and more spending cuts are among the topics Governor Daniel Malloy will highlight in his final budget address. That is tomorrow. It opens the 2018 General Assembly session. Recreational marijuana, fa uh, paid family leave, online sports betting, all expected to be on this year's agenda. Today, a busy one at the state capitol as the 2018 General Assembly session kicked off. Chief Political Correspondent Mark Davis joins us live with a look ahead. Hi, Mark. Hi, Ann and Scott. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. Yes, tomorrow is the opening of the 2018 General Assembly session. This is also an election year, a year that will determine a new governor and who controls the General Assembly, an election that is likely to overshadow every issue. When the governor enters the hall of the House for his final address tomorrow, he knows that one of his major proposals, the imposition of electronic highway tolls across the state, will at least get a vote this session in the House. It's something that will happen this session. We will be voting on tolls. Where that vote goes, I don't know. Even if it passes the narrowly divided House, the fate of tolls this year in the evenly divided state Senate is doubtful. The governor's proposal for a seven-cent hike in the gas tax will be debated in committee because a powerful committee co-chairman has also proposed a four-cent hike. We're not going to be able to afford 25, greater than 25% of our total expenditures going to local government. His proposal to cut municipal aid to the state's more affluent communities was rejected last year. He's trying again. He's also again proposing extending the sales tax to non-prescription drugs, which was also rejected last year. And eliminating the $200 property tax credit. Extending the bottle bill to wine and spirits. We are going backwards. He has tried this progressive agenda for six years and it's failed. Other topics coming up include recreational marijuana and the taxes it would generate, a proposal for paid family medical leave, banning bump stocks like the one used in the Las Vegas shooting, online sports betting may come up because the nation's highest court is expected to rule on it soon. And Tesla is expected to renew their push for direct-to-consumer sales that is vigorously opposed by Connecticut auto dealers. The uh, last speaker there was Senator Len Fasano of North Haven, the Republican Senate President pro tem. There's also expected to be a push to allow MGM to bid for a casino license for Bridgeport. As you know, the assembly passed and the governor signed last year authorizing a third casino to be run by the Mashantuckets and the Mohegans at East Windsor, where construction has not yet begun. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8. All right, Mark, stay with News 8 for continuing coverage of the governor's budget address. We'll have it all for you. Our coverage begins at 10 tomorrow morning on Facebook. We'll also broadcast the governor's entire address beginning at noon.